the product and quotient rules of differentiation. We're going to look at the product rule first. If I've got some expression that is two functions multiplied together, u times v, where u is some function in terms of x and v is some function in terms of the same variable x, then the derivative is the derivative of the first factor times the second plus the first factor times the derivative of the second. So let's apply it to this um, function right here. We'll call this cube root of t u, and we'll call t squared plus 4 v. And we're just going to follow this pattern right here, u prime v plus u v prime. Before I do that, let's go ahead and rewrite this as t to the 1 third times t squared plus 4, because it's a lot easier to work with exponents. Okay, so u prime is going to be 1 third t to the negative 2 thirds. We're doing the power rule. That's u prime. Here's v, t squared plus 4 plus u, that's t to the 1 third times v prime, which is 2t. Remember, the derivative of a constant is 0. OK, so what can we do with this? Well, the calculus part is done. From now on, it's just doing some simplifying. OK, so if I factor out a t to the negative 2 thirds, then that's going to leave me with 1 third t squared plus 4. And if I factor out t to the negative 2 thirds, that's t to the 1 third divided by t to the negative 2 thirds. And when I subtract 1 third minus negative 2 thirds, I'm going to get t to the 3 thirds which is just t. So I've got t to the negative 2 thirds times t squared plus 4 over 3 plus 2t squared. And let's multiply that by 3 over 3 to get a common denominator. And I'm going to have 1 over t to the 2 thirds t squared plus 4 plus 6t squared all over 3. And my final answer is 7t squared plus 4 all over 3t to the 2 thirds. OK, in this example, it doesn't look a product, but we can convert it to 1 by saying that this is 2x plus 5 times x to the negative 1 half. All right, so here is u. And here is v. Remember that our pattern is f prime of x equals u prime v plus u v prime. So here we go. f prime of x equals u prime. The derivative of 2x plus 5 is 2 times v plus u times the derivative of v, which is negative 1 half x to the negative 3 halves. Negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 halves. Okay. So let's factor out um, 
an x to the negative 3 halves. That's going to give me x to the negative 3 halves in front and negative 1 half minus a negative 3 halves is negative 1 half plus 3 halves which is 1. And here I have 2x plus 5 times a negative 1 half. That's going to be negative x minus 5 halves. And I get x to the negative 3 halves times 2x minus x minus 5 halves. And if you want, we can factor out a 1 half. And I'm going to get 1 half x to the negative 3 halves times 2x minus 5. And if you want to write that with positive exponents, we'll do 2x minus 5 over 2x to the positive 3 halves. So that's a couple of examples using the product rule. What if there are three or more factors? Well, let's group the first two together and treat them as one factor. Okay? So now we're going to take the derivative of what's inside the parentheses times w So we're going to do u prime v plus u v prime times w plus what's in the side the parentheses times the derivative of the second piece, w. And if I distribute the w right here, I get u prime v w plus u v prime w plus u v w prime. And if you notice the pattern here, the prime marches from left to right through the products. So if I had g of x equals, oh, let's say um, s t u v, then g prime of x would be s prime t u v plus s t prime u v plus s t u prime v plus s t u v prime. Okay, let's do the quotient rule now. So if I have q of x, which is some expression that uh, is a function u divided by a function v, both in terms of the same variable, then the derivative of q is u prime v minus u v prime. So that's like the product rule, except there's a real important difference. You're subtracting right there. And that is all over v squared. Notice it's not the derivative of v, it's just plain old v squared. Okay, so here's u. That's x to the one-third. And here's v. Well, we know it's x cubed plus 1 because that's what it says. And you know what? I'll do that in red so we can distinguish them. Okay, so here we go. h prime of x is equal to u prime. That's one-third x to the negative two-thirds times v, which is x cubed plus one minus u, x to the one-third times v prime. 3x squared, all over v squared, x cubed plus 1 squared. And once you reach that point, 
and you're done with the calculus part. Okay, so on top, I'm going to factor out the term with the lowest exponent, in this case, x to the negative 2 thirds. So I'm going to get x to the negative 2 thirds. That leaves me with 1 third x cubed plus 1 minus x to the 1 third with a negative x to the negative 2 thirds factored out is going to be x to the 1 times 3x squared. And that's all over x cubed plus 1 squared. And so I have x to the negative 2 thirds times 1 third x cubed plus 1 third minus 3 x cubed all over x cubed plus 1 squared. And uh, how about we factor out a 1 third? So I'm going to get x cubed plus 1 minus 9 x cubed all over 3x to the 2 thirds times x cubed plus 1 squared. And finally we get 1 minus 8x cubed over all this stuff. Okay. So that's an example of um, using the quotient rule. Just remember this pattern here. The derivative of a quotient is derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. Now you need to be careful because some things look like they're going to need to use a quotient rule when they really don't. Notice that all I have down here is a constant. So that's really x squared over 3 plus 2 thirds x. And we just go ahead and use the power rule. So our derivative will be 2 thirds x plus 2 thirds. So beware of that situation. And that's it for the product and quotient rules.